Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your favorite introvert here and today we're going to be talking about the DJI Spark and more specifically the compass calibration required at times to reset the flight geometry. This process is quick but does have some pretty important steps and items to take into consideration. So let's get into it. So why calibrate the DJI Spark? Compass calibration is important to safe and controlled flight. It compensates for changing background magnetic noise, aka magnetic inclination and deviation. Inclination and deviation that isn't corrected through compass calibration will cause inconsistencies between the GPS and compass that can result in a swirling motion that can cause the spark to fly out of control. What is magnetic deviation, declination, and inclination? Magnetic deviation is the error induced in a compass by local magnetic fields, which must be allowed for along with magnetic declination if accurate bearings are to be calculated. Magnetic deviation, as it relates to the spark itself, is a horizontal variation that comes from the spark as well as the magnetic makeup of the area you are flying. Sometimes the deviation will be insignificant, but other times it can be big enough to cause you to lose control. Inclination is a vertical magnetic variation that shifts depending on where you are. Magnetic inclination is the angle made with the horizontal by the Earth's magnetic field lines. This angle varies at different points on the Earth's surface. Positive values of inclination indicate that the magnetic field of the Earth is pointing downward into the Earth at the point of measurement, and negative values indicate that it is pointing upward. The spark can only detect when the compass is providing extremely poor or implausible data. This typically occurs if you place it near a strong magnetic field or do not calibrate it properly. It will flash red and yellow lights and the spark will indicate a compass error in the app. The lack of a compass error does not mean your compass is working and calibrated properly. You can view the current compass interference in the main controller settings, advanced settings, sensors section of the DJI GO 4 app. The color bars should be in the green or excellent range when the spark is in a location that is away from magnetic influences. If the bars are in the red or poor range or close to it, move the spark to a different location and check again. If the compass interference is still in the red or poor range or close to it, the compass should need calibrated or it could be magnetized or damaged. It is important to note that a good compass interference value does not mean your compass is working and calibrated properly. For example, if you calibrate next to some rebar, the compass interference might report good values and may still be okay until you fly away from the rebar. Let's go over some interesting facts and findings discovered during the making of this video. To start off, the Spark has a single IMU and compass. This means there's no redundancy built into the spark. The IMU and compass is located in the forward section of the drone right behind the camera and gimbal. While passing items over the IMU and compass, you can see that it is easily interfered with. I passed several items over the spark several times to see the effects it would cause. I even found a spare hard drive with no electrical properties other than being metallic and to my surprise, it interfered with the compass and IMU as well. Now, should this be a cause for concern? Not necessarily. While it is easy to interfere with direct contact with the drone, once the properties are any distance away, the interference starts to reduce or go away altogether. Even while the spark is sitting on metal patio furniture, the signal is still within the excellent range according to the bar slider. It is only elevated and interfered with more once metal is directly in contact with the spark around the compass and IMU. Again, once removed, the signal stabilizes, so unless you plan on flying with metal strapped to the top of your spark, you should be okay. But it is worth mentioning those findings.
The most important aspect of compass calibration is making sure the magnetic surroundings around your spark is consistent between the period of calibration and during flight. So let's go over how you should not calibrate your spark first. You should not calibrate the spark by rotating your body to perform the 360 degree rotation required by the spark. This adds extra variation to the calibration and could lead to unsatisfactory performance by the spark. And now how to properly calibrate the spark's compass. You can find the calibration by clicking the three dots at the upper right hand corner on the main screen, which leads you into the main controller settings. From there, you will select advanced settings, scroll down to sensors, select it, select the compass button, and three quarters of the way down the screen, you will find the calibrate compass. Once you select the calibrate compass, it will prompt you if you really would like to calibrate the compass, in which you would select yes. From here you should observe solid yellow rear LED lights. Pick up the spark, ensuring that there's no interference or objects that could cause interference around, and smoothly and steadily turn a full 360 degrees until the rear lights turn a solid green. Don't be concerned or surprised if your gimbal reacts poorly to the calibration process. Continue turning smoothly and steadily as normal. If for any reason you do not complete any of the above steps smoothly and evenly, restart the process and try again. I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe for more content. We'll see you next video.